How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? How y'all living? YouTube, it is good to be back. I just want to talk to you guys about one topic, and that's really how to deal with death and, and death been around us. Now, stick with me to this video because at the end of the tunnel, I will get to why this is so important. So, recently I've lost my dog, OC, which I've had him since I was 10, so of course that's something. Um, that's something close but as i look up i realize like wow there's other people that are dying around us and it happens this is life you know <laughs> it's life so that's what i have realized sometimes to numb the pain but what i do realize is like it's life and the thing is how do we deal with death Next semester, I'll be taking a grief, loss, and death class, which would be really good to just know how do we deal with death. And one of my colleagues in school said, you know, that would be a good class because we're both taking it. I think he took it before to have because in my culture, when somebody passed, you know, it's like, oh, well, I'm praying for you. And then we move past it just because what do we do? It's natural. You know, how, what, how do we be there for that person more than just like listening or whatever? Because at that time when it's sudden deaths or when it's just people going through things, sometimes they don't even want to say anything. So that would be good to know and I could spread that to you all. But it's just how do we deal with it? It's all around. Like even my university had some deaths this this semester, this year. Um that even my colleagues and undergrad had to deal with and just when you look up it's like wow like life is real and that's what i'm trying to get at with this video like life is real and what i'm getting at is see two things we're down here crying but hopefully the person that passed away i'm talking all across the board um is in heaven so they don't feel that sadness or that sorrow because they with God they're with the Lord I mean the eternal life so that's happiness for them but we're sad here but what I have to realize is like I gotta keep going God wakes us up I always say this but let me break this down to you all God woke us up and he wakes us up every day if you're watching this you're alive God bless you and every day he wakes us he wakes us up and we're here and we're alive what is our purpose that we need to fulfill before our time is called see if you're still here there is something that you need to do there's something that you need to fulfill whatever it is whatever it is god put you on this earth for some reason he put you on this earth for some reason. So when death is around and we realize things, that is what I see. And as we got older, like, it began to happen a lot in high school when we see death. Like, oh, my goodness. You know, it's not no innocence anymore. When you're young, you don't know stuff, what's really going on. But when you get older, high school, young adult, college, you begin to realize things. Like, I've even lost some people in college uh, due to car accidents and things but it's like man that's it's really tough and just thinking about it like how do we deal with death you know um this can be re a reoccurring video as i learn more things and study like what do we do in this season what do we do in this time because people around are dealing with sudden deaths that i know and it's just like whoa like it wakes me up to be real like it wakes me up i be I, I i am sad and stuff but i get past it and it wakes me up to realize life and death literally like in a life part you know you're born into this earth for a purpose for a reason to fulfill something and when that mission is complete or the time is up, God will call you home. And that's what I put in my head. That's what motivates me to become better daily. So when you wake up tomorrow, Lord's willing, 
or when you wake up from anything, you know, in life every single day, know that you are here for a reason and you are here for a purpose. Literally. You woke up. God could have sent you home yesterday in your sleep, whatever the case may be, but you're still here. So this is really a two-part video, just letting you guys know what I'm dealing with. I uh, lost my dog, OC. And not only that, but what's in my head? And it's not just OC that has passed away this week or past weeks. Like, it, death is around. And that's what I begin to realize as I get older. Like, you begin to see things. Like, even social media gets it a lot. Like... Our generation, my generation, if y'all older that's watching this, we growing up with social media era. So we see bad news all around, you know? And that's what I try to do is spread some light into this world. But those are two things, you know, death is around. How do we deal with it? Some of us just keep going. Some of, you know, you really got to take time. It takes time to heal with things like that. So I pray for those who are dealing with grief right now, who has lost a loved one suddenly, unsuddenly, whatever the case may be. I'm praying for you all. Um, if you need any prayer, talk to me. Just let me know and we could talk. But that's one thing. And just know, like, you're still here. So your purpose matters. You matter. Know that you matter. And whatever you're facing in life, know it's something bigger. You know, it's a whole big picture. And we just getting a little piece of it. But once you could succeed and see it, it's like all of that's worth it and all of that was needed. So keep going because you're here. you here. You are here. You are alive. If you're watching this video, keep going and fulfill the purpose that God has placed in your life. God bless you all, and I love you all.